What's up, Lord Gawk with the round cork? What's going we on? We speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me near Hogsmeade, and we will devise a plan. Well, I am going to Hogsmeade, but not for that. Orale, welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. My name is Ragu. You're tuning into the life of Pablo Potter, fool. Uh, today in this episode, we're going to be uh, most likely meeting up with Sebastian and Poppy. But first, we're going to go to Hogsmeade and uh, purchase a broom upgrade from Mr. Albie Weeks. See what he's got in store for the good old, the good old boy, you know? Oh, yeah. All right, Albie, let's see what you got, my guy. I'm assuming you want us to do another trial run. Hello again. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. No problem. Are you going to want us to kick a Melder Schmelder's ass again, I'm assuming? Four thousand! Mr. Motherfucking Weeks, huh? You think you're tough. Charging us an arm and a leg, my boy. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> This may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details. <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinder's infiltrating the place. However, if you're flying high above them, you should be all right. I think. Uh, they don't scare me, buddy. Kick their ass once or twice. I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find a melder. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. I look forward to our next meeting. Me too, Mr. Weeks. Me too. Uh, do we really want to go kick a Melda Schmelda in her face right now? I think we do. You know, we got to go serve it to Schmeldy Meldy. Perhaps I could test out when you upgrade on the way. Oh, you know we will. Schmeldy Meldy! Actually, there was a little home I think you could rob. Level three. Okay, tough guys. Sorry, Natty. We'll talk to you later. We're going to go try out this new handy schmandy broom upgrade. It seems we're flying a lot faster than we were before. Yeah, dude. We're kind of fucking zooming now, G. Low key. Uh, Doug Buggos, how we doing? Uh, I know what we got to do, but fuck. We got to... Confringo. Bombarda. Levioso. Descendo. Confringo. Come on, buddies. What try our boys got? Yeah. Let me Slice him! Come on, buddy, what you got? Oh god, you're a big boy. Let me Oh god, I can get over there. Oh! Defender! Which one eat my ass? Arrest momentum. Come on, buddy. Let me Confringo! Oh, what are you. Oh, are you fucking rejected to that Bombarda. shit? It's like I couldn't levitate him by his big old freaking tongue. Tough guy. How do you flip a duck bog on its back, man? It's a good question. Just so I could do this damn little Merlin trial. I think I know what we gotta do now. Come on. Lumos. Collect some of the legs. Oh, I think I ran past it. Sorry, pal. Ah, you thought you could hide from me, huh, Fireflies? Going through the water here. Get up here. There we go. And the last guy, pretty simple. Lumos. Merlin himself would be proud. Yeah, yeah, Merlin would be proud. All right, let's head off and find a Melda Schmelde. Well, unless a Melda is quite a bit of ways away, we will uh, have to definitely venture quite a distance. Levioso. Come on, buddy, get in my sack. Yourself. I mean you no harm. I didn't touch your helm. There are boys here. Thank you for making me the first object of your suspicions. Don't I? Cats are very chill. Not quite a lot of effort to uh, rescue them. Oh, big old troll boy. This must be a goblin's paradise. How the fuck do I get to a Melda Schmelda? I'm even going the right way. Going the opposite way, no. Do I have to go through a freaking tunnel, bruv? Ton of tunnel I need. How the hell do I get to the south coast? Okay, so either way, I gotta get to these goddamn goblins. Oh, you got buddies. 
Let's take him out, boom. Smite him. Quick take out. Well, let's see, let's run around, let's get some more freaking chaos, I guess, in this little, little area. Oh my god! The big ass troll, bro! Incendio. Come on, buddy. Jeez, these homies like me when I don't get any snacks, man. Don't Incendio. raise an attitude with me, sir. God damn. What? Does it music like your tongue, Troll Boy? Should I say, Go Boy? Oh, come on, buddy! Confringo! Bombarder! Descendo! Levioso! Oh, God! You've been thunderstruck! Glaciers! Defender! Come on, buddy! Confringo! Bombarder! Come on, buddy! Protego! Stupid. Come on, dummy! You big dummy! Descender! Confringo! Bombard! Expelliant! Arrest the momentum! Stupid! Yo, yo, bro, there's something on your club! It's called your face! Glaces! Defender! Incendio! Come on, buddy! Bombard! Confringo! Come on, is this all you got, troll? Let me of course it is. Your brain's only as big as a rock. Stop in the face, buddy! Come on, buddy! Is that all you got? Okay, he just froze in the suspension. Oh, he got me pretty good right Glacier, defender. That's, that's the student who released. Come on, buddy. Oh, defense, Oh, damn, man. Clearing this little quick camp right here. It's tougher than it seemed. Incendio. Glacier, defender. One guy, no problem, but you know, fucking whole crew. Sheesh. Ooh. Merlin Trial here probably has something to do with these little balls we gotta shoot, I'm assuming. Is that all of them? Of course not. Oh, right over here. These Merlin Trials won't get the best of me. Yep. Yeah, he thinks he's a little slick putting them everywhere all over the map. Dangerous spots like goblin camps. Luckily, I cleared that thing. It was a big troll. It was kind of annoying when that one little ranger was shooting at me the whole time. But I know why I had to do it. Just so I can make it all the way into here. Come on. Oh, you got, buddy. Oh, you took a tough smack at me there a little bit. Repair her. Don't know what this will do. Absolutely nothing. Smite him! Defender. Clean. Ah. 
Come on, buddy boy. You're gonna have to be slicker than that, buddies. This looks like Yeah, shut the fuck up. Bombada. Take a while to freaking load, I see. Uh, you're gonna make me start doing gymnastics and exercise? I thought this was wizardry. Is that all? Just some loot. Oh, we're gonna bombard these motherfuckers right at the gate. I heard one of them talking shit earlier. He's definitely gonna get it first. Okay, who was talking shit? And you? What do you know? Anyway, take this! Oh. You're tall, buddy. Hey, get out of here, buddy. Anybody else? A uh, bunch of loyalists. Smack them. You guys sweet your ass? You guys lumberjacks? Come on, buddy. Come on, buddies. Oh, he hit me there. Incendies. You've one less follower, Ranrock. Not as smooth as I would like it to have been, but eh. Uh, it was actually pretty crisp for the most part. It was just as a way to get around him or some shit. What the fuck's in here? Every little nook and cranny, bro. It must be searched. Even if it is average loot. We do need galleons. Because at the very end of this, bro, we will kick a Meldish Smelda's ass. You best believe it. It is all to beat a Meldish ass. Fuck, man. Just trying to kick Imelda's ass is just one whole ass episode. Eee. Damn it, Imelda, I didn't know you came with your own little fucking dungeon. Fucking slithering punk ass. Rebellion. Ah, uh, then you taught me with the balloons afterwards, huh? Unfortunately, the fact that this antique muggle compass was dropped here means the muggle who was dropped it was probably wandering through Wales by now. Well, we have to do what do here now, Imelda. And our new handy dandy broom upgrade. Lit. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. Tomb of Treachery. Not yet, but some other day. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. I do too. Merlin! It's one of these, uh... Gymnastic ones! What? Okay, somehow I missed the first jump. And worst of all, I got my shoes wet. Attempt number two. Okay. There we go, I feel like Spider-Man right now. Yeah. Not so tricky after all, Merlin. Come on, Merlin. You're not so slick this time, Merlin. Oi, oi, oi. We're just trying to kick a Melda Schmelda's ass. We don't have to get all these antics here. Okay, somebody saw me, I don't know who you are, don't care. Is this an easy one? I think so. Explosivo time. Are there more? That's that. Settled. That's it. So many Merlin trials, damn it. Alright, ooh. Okay, finally off, let's go uh, kick I Melda Schmelda's ass, finally. Tired of having to wait. Well, we're done with Merlin trials for the day, my guy. See you next time. How many balloons we got? Just the one, two, and then what? The three, the four, and then the five. Oh. Quick little, uh, a quick little wrap around. Nice. God damn it, Melda, where the fuck are you taking me? This looks like the spot of our next trial or something, more likely. Looks like that. some in. I should investigate. Confringo! Bombarda! Another we're gonna deal with for now. These more nasals. Flying for quite a minute here now. It's kind of good though, get a little practice before we uh, start doing our competition with the Melda Schmelda. You know the jig. 
Those are landing platforms, apparently, so I guess just land on those anytime, just for the, the, fuck, the fun of it. Didn't realize that till now. Oh my goodness gracious, bro. How many balloons are we gonna run into? But here we are, we're gonna fly with a Melder Schmelderina. The course looks rather deserted. I hope everything's all right. Gryffindor, over here! If it isn't the slitheriest and slimiest snake that I know, Amelda Schmeldereas. What's going on, Amelda? Hello again, Amelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually... Thank you. I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. <laughs> anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. I'm gonna kick the shit out your time like I did last time and the time before that, you know? We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. <laughs> get ready to lose, Gryffindor. Nah, it's uh, it's it's the L's gonna be taken by the Slytherin today. Who do you think you are? This is going well. Oh, little uh, little uh, little uh, oh, it's a little bit of turbulence, but we're getting through it. Oh, fuck it up, but fuck it. We'll fix it. We'll figure it out. We're still ahead of her. <laughs> this can't be all you got, Melda Schmelda. Flying, I do say so myself. Oh shit, I'm not good enough to kill two birds with one stone. Come on, Amelda, where you at? Yeah, where you at, Amelda Smoldy? I'm here to kick her behind. You're slithering, dirty slithering behind. Now that's more like it. You're sliming away, you snake. I'm hitting too many of these perfectly. You know. Oh, oh, I fucked up. I fucked up there. Okay. Oh, whatever. A little setback didn't set, set nobody back. <laughs> now that's more like it. Hey, I'm straight. It's going well. Not, not hard enough. Oh, God. Don't fuck it up here. Oh, God. Pop two balloons there. Okay. I guess we find the rest. Oh, Feels like it's gonna be a tight squeeze. Oh god. Brilliant flying, if I do say so myself. As long as we're beating Amelda, it's all that matters. That's all that matters, man. As long as we beat Amelda, Schmeld at her own game. Huh. Huh. We left Schmeldy Meldy in the dust. <laughs> That's it. Brilliant. Come on, Amelda. That can't be all you got, Amelda. Is that all you got, Amelda, Schmeldy? Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. Ah, you think you're tough, huh, Melda Schmelda? Well, I don't care. You know, you lost. Take the L on the chin, chump. Do you get your competitiveness from your family? You could say that. My grandfather played Quidditch for Puddlemere United. And my father, well, he was a chaser for Slytherin, but had to stop after a curse took his knees out. Said it was the Gryffindor beater. And me... I fell in love with flying the first time I saw the ground disappear beneath my feet. Something about the freedom you feel on a brim. I've not been able to stop since. Will you keep running these courses? I'll race them myself. I don't want to get rusty. But I won't be dealing with time trials. You're welcome to run them too. Anyway, hope we find time to fly again soon. I take it you want to play for a team. But which one? And which position? I'm my father's girl. A chaser, through and through. You'd know that if Black hadn't cancelled Quidditch this year. As for a team, it's the holy head harpies I've always dreamt of. When I'm finished with school, I'll try out. If for some reason I don't get accepted, I don't know what I'll do. Herbology, perhaps? Because if that did happen, <laughs> you might as well pot me and call me a mandrake. I'd never stop screaming. So her, her solution is to go delve into drugs and become a herbologist. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Imelda. Uh, well, you know what? If you're afraid of the hard work, you're not going to get what you want, girl. So you got to work hard. It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here. 
fifth year. <laughs> Not bad for a Gryffindor. A Gryffindor, okay. You take care of yourself. I will take care of myself because I'm better than you, chump. Ooh. I should let Mr. Weeks know that this was his best upgrade yet. Are these more purple toads? That's not a magical beast, is it? What are those? A stone pack! Let me also. Descender! Confringo! Bombarda! Oh my god! Well, I don't want to fight a s- Oh my god, they're just launching themselves at me. They're terrifying. The stonebacks. Fuck well, it, let's try to get this uh, dueling feed done real quick. I'm just trying to get you to- Hit me with something else, girl! Try to stupefy back on you right now. Who's this you? Blast him! Wish to my time. Knowing a meat, he's likely studied her. I don't know how a meat would get here if he's too scared to move anywhere. Where are we looking? Boom! What is this? Lupus. Okay, that's not a, that's not your run-of-the-mill astrology sign right there. Finally, some actual astronomy. Your time with her, my friend. Just popping balloon, couple of balloon papas. I'm gonna get to this little town here. We get the fuck out. <laughs> We're just trying to get more food flames unlocked on the map. We're definitely gonna have to come uh, exploring around this town a little bit more, though. And just exploring over the South Coast area region in general, you know? There's foes to defeat, places to discover, loot to get. Revelio. This gorgeous tree has served as home to home to countless bow truckles, fairies, and even rumor has it an augury or two. Many simply enjoy it for its shade. Nice little tree. I've always said that travel, travel broadens, broadens the, the mind. mind. Oh, we get it, lady. We get it. Alohomora. Another quick look. Looting and trifling. Some wand handles. It's bound to be a demi guys, right? Nothing too exciting. Wonder who lives here. Alohomora. Don't know, but I'm stealing their valued possessions. A couple of wine handles, some designs. Nothing too flashy. Like DJ Khaled said. Another one. Alohomora. Just give me your goods. Come on. Hurry it up. Nothing much. Just a bag of flaming hot shit. Excuse me, Madam Navarro. Bella Navarro. May I help you? What is it you sell, Madam Navarro? Potion ingredients mostly. There's a tidy bit of profit to be made from the most unassuming things. I assume you've studied potions at Hogwarts? Professor Sharp's class, yes. Then you should know enough to appreciate my inventory. Thank you for your time, my sweet. Thank you. A hey, fucking demi guys. Mine now, demi guys. All right, let's return to Mr. Albie Weeks. How's my favorite test flyer? Doing good, buddy. Hello again, Mr. Weeks. I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic. Your broom performed well then. The best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully, incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course! Should have anticipated that. Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you. At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade. Very exciting, my guy. What will you do after the final upgrade is complete? I aim to make spint witches the most sought after shop in Ogsmead. And I wouldn't mind getting back on a broom myself, just for the thrill of it. Couldn't be more pleased we made headway with the upgrades, proved the naysayers wrong, made all the hard work worth it. Yeah. I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. Uh, Couldn't have done this without you. We can finally enjoy the fruit of our labors of kicking a Melder Schmelder's ass. Good for Mr. Weeks. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. Yeah, he is a chummy pal. All right, let's see. We we gotta get some cells and some other shenanigans. Can't just be the whole episode of Melda. Uh, I think. Uh, all right, let's go check up on uh, Poppy. I think her grandma got ran up on by some poachers after we uh, set free the dragon. Obviously, we pissed him off a bit, and um, now the repercussions of our actions have come to bite her in the ass. And uh, now we gotta help her out. Obviously, can't let Grands get taken advantage of like that. Especially if Harlow gets her. You know, he's not afraid to use a lot of cadavers of kids. Let alone the elderly. Oh, good, you're safe. Ma'am, girl, how you doing mentally? Are you ready? Can you handle this? There you are. You were in such a state when you left. 
The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. That's cool. Imagine dudes diving for that shit. I don't know what Quidditch is like, but if it's anything like, like football, I'm assuming fools are diving head first. Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidget's feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. If the poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. Where exactly are these Snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. All right, let's 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 go hunt this creature down then, Pope. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon, but the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as- Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs! They'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs! Let's talk to the centaurs, uh, but I don't know if they'll be too excited to see us after our last encounter with them. It's kind of rough. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. All right, best believe, Bobby. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. I know you will, girl. I'm truly awed by what we've accomplished. The final broom upgrade is better than even I expected. Stop by Spin Witches when you can. Nice. Head back to Mr. Albie Weeks and uh, buy the final loot broom upgrade. Oh, hello again. Couldn't have perfected the broom upgrades without your help. As always, I have a special prize for you. I hope it's cheap. 7500 bro. I can't pay for that shit right now. Who the fuck do you think you are? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Yeah, I hope not to see you again. Oh my gosh. Man must think I'm made of galleons, bro. That's a special deal price. What is that shit like? It should be free, bro. I got, I got a special prize for you. 7500 galleons. What the fuck is that? I do want to see. Do we little have hippo babies? Oh my god, it's a little hippo grab off spring. His hair is sticking straight up. Oh my god, he's so cute. Coleco, your baby. Does he have eyes like his papa? It's like a nice little dark gray hippogriff, y'all. Hi, Ween, your baby. Good job, girl. Everybody knows you did all the hard work. Oh, the little, little hippogriff. Is he gonna take off? Are you gonna go flying? I wanna see him fly. Oh, he's cuddling up next to his, his papa's got. Oh my god, his papa's got him under the wing. Oh my god, it's adorable. My little dearie crawl wants attention. And the Niffler's there too, he's enjoying. Oh, he's just eating. He's just monstering right next to him. Teach him how to fly, Coleco. Teach him how to fly right in front of us. Well, guys, I think that's going to conclude today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed watching as much as I did recording. And if you did, you know, leave a like, comment, possibly subscribe. And until then, catch you guys later. Peace out.